Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and today we're going to be reco recording. We're going to be reviewing this Franzacana Vice Beer, yeah. premium Vice Beer, Natural Troub. <laughs> That's right, Franzacana. Before we go, I've got a little present for you. All right, okay, I like this. So I've just been testing something out. So I've made yourself a little coaster <laughs> from the bottle caps from the beers that we've tasted All together. Of <laughs> a little Oyster Boy present that we can maybe put the glass on. So I was thinking if, if we have any guests on the show, there's a little token of, uh, of them coming on. They, they, they can get a little, little That's toaster. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, so, you know, you if anyone go. wants to come on, let us know. We might let you. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. So uh, tell yeah. me a bit about this beer, though. That's it. I love, I, I, I'm a big fan of this. I'm gonna... Yeah, I mean, I picked it because you, you were a big fan of uh, <laughs> Of the of of, of Erdinger. I know we've not re reviewed it yet, and we've reviewed a lot of wheat, wheat beers, and we you know we love riding that wheat train. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and and this is my uh, sister's husband's favourite wheat beer. And he lives in Australia, and he orders these to go all the way over there. You know that's how much of a big fan he is. So, I mean, thirteen sixty three is when they first sort of say this was established, so to speak. I mean, it says there, but from Unix, it's 1363. Well, basically, it's the first- Couple of hundred years older, of, uh, younger, sorry, yeah. than um, Wine Stefano. Yeah, well, Wine is 1066. Old brew in the world. So, yeah, debatable, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, <laughs> debatable, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's not 1066, it's about Hastings, isn't it? It's 1040. Yeah, 1040, 1040 yeah. So, so, you know, a couple of years earlier. So, the reason, again, similar to the reason how uh, Wine Staffina sort of recognised how old they were, is the first information available about the, the sort of, at the time it was a monastery. Well, this is the Frank, uh, Francasian covert. It's the first time, uh, the first sort of record they have that dates to them, it's 1363. Okay. And they were big on basically um, exchanging beers, like they all were, you know, brew their own beers for the monks, exchange them to the pilgrims and things like that. So that's 1363, now 18... 58, mm -hmm. uh, Joseph Sedlmile, who we've discussed before. So obviously he is uh, Gabrielle's son, yep. for the creator of, of uh, Spaten. Yeah. Video link before from when we talked at Spaten. Uh, he had two sons, uh, one called Gabrielle and the other one called Joseph. So Joseph left and actually found uh, another brewery. Uh, it was called uh, Leeds. Leeds. Um, and he also bought shares in the Frankensia Brewery. Okay. So he bought shares, become the owner, and in 1922 actually transferred, they actually amalgamated uh, Spaten and Franz Kenner and joined them together. Uh, and then in 1974, they created the Hefeweizen, this okay. beer. So before this, they did actually have a wheat beer, which was the Cristal version, but uh, like 10 years before, but they brought this out. Um, and I think it was a couple of years it started being sold out Bavaria. Uh, now, uh, Spaten and Frank Hansia are owned by InBev, who isn't. InBev, uh... Stella. Baby and Stella, Stella, Stella. Beth, yeah, everyone, <laughs> every brewery in the world yeah. ultimately will be owned by them, and then they'll uh, go to war with a country. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, they. Uh, but it's, it, yeah, that's pretty much a brief sort of history of the beer. Hef, obviously, your that's the type of wheat that uh, the wheat, sorry, it's the type of yeast that they use in the beer. Vice, uh, vice beer, white beer. Yeah. So. See what we get. Should we get it in the glass? We'll get it in the glass. So I'd say it's interesting though that it's such an old brewery that has only been making the wheat beer since the 70s. Yeah, well, I so, mean, you know, it's what, 70, 80, 90, 1000, 50 year old beer from a 800 year old brewery. Well, I mean, Munich, year old brewery. Munich especially, they they loved their dark beers, didn't they? They were yeah. big into the dark beers, and, and it was only really sort of the Bavarian royal family, I guess, that sort of got it going popular and really going. Classic wheat beer look, really, isn't it? Yeah, highly carbonated, that yeah. sort of golden colour. Let's get some of that nature trube. Nature trube, naturally bottle fermented. You'll find yeah, yeast in the bottle, the bottom of the yeah. bottle. And uh, with a wheat beer, you kind of want to drink that yeast. Or so, as Show says, roll it in your roll hand. Roll it in your hand. <laughs> you want to be a hipster? <laughs> Spend ages doing it. Yeah. Rolled, not shaken. Rolled, not shaken. <laughs> <laughs> but if, you, if you've not got time, if you know anyone that hasn't got time for anything, you could just do this. 
yeah. and then get some of that in there. And, and it, I'll be honest, it really does add to the flavour when you drink a, a wheat beer, when you get the yeast in there. Because we did one where we made, um, well, I, I, I think I made it, didn't I? Um, a wheat beer. And it, at first, first sip, you think, oh, this isn't fantastic. But when you swirled up that stuff at the bottom and put it in the glass, I think it really, really changed yeah. it. You know that one yeah. recently, yeah? Yeah. Um, I mean, I've had this beer before, and obviously, if you're talking about a wheat beer scale, you've got your sort of Erdinger, which is maybe a bit more towards slight hoppiness. Almost like a lager Erdinger, yeah, that kind of and, taste. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's got the clove, but it's not heavy on the banana. And then you've got the other scale where you've got the wine staffner, and then you've got Maisel Vice, which is really pulling off those yeasty banana notes. So for me, this is maybe no, not as far on, on the Erdinger scale, a bit more towards, but not much. So. Okay. Let's see how we get. Well, so it looks, if, it's, if this is close to Erdinger, I'll be in for a treat then because I love Erdinger. <laughs> um, well, do you know what kind of hops they actually use in this? Or? I'd imagine it'd be one of the noble hops, uh, I imagine Hal yeah. Tau or something like that. Well, uh, looks wise, I like it. It's very similar in looks, but you know, not as dark as a Maisel's. No. Um, it's more like your Erdinger wine. Yeah, it is kind of that end. A lighter colour, cloudy as you'd expect. Yeah, I love that colour. Yeah, it's really it's fantastic like. colour. Sun's just come out and beamed down and goes, wheat beer, you boys <laughs> need some sun. This deserves some good score. Solid eight for me. Yeah, I'm going to go straight eight. Straight eight. Yeah. I want to smell it. Go on. Oh. So it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Some banana, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting After what you'd said. I know. I mean, it's... It's been two the years. The banana and the clove, all the things that you yeah. want to light on this and light on that. You know what? <laughs> Straight away. Get, him. Get, get him off. Get him off the show. You're fired. But maybe, it's... maybe I'll replace you with someone else in the next video. <laughs> it's, but it's it's more of the green, 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 green banana note than yeah, your yeah, sort yeah. of. Because we had the Maisel Vice and uh, it was more of your That's sort like of over, banana bread. That's banana. Yeah, it? yeah, this yeah. is definitely more your green bread. And the cloves has definitely come through. It's very nice yeah. smelling. There's no real bit, hop smell. Do you not think? Do you want to get that slight? No, I'm, not, I'm not getting that. Bit malty, bit banana-y, bit okay. clovey. This, that smells great though. Yeah. It smells lovely. Can you find this on tap anywhere? The, the bar service? I've never found it on tap. No, I've never shame. found it on tap. The only wheat beers that I found on tap in Chester is Schneider Weiss. Uh, Ho Garden. Ho Garden, which is a wit, but yeah, wheat beer. Yeah. Um, with Bel uh, and uh, what we got, Wine Staffanat and Erdinger. They're the only ones. Not complaining because I, there's some places that I've got none. Yeah. But I've never found this on draft. Shame. Um, smells wise, I love that smell. I'm going to give it uh, an 8 2. Uh, yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, I'll have to go agree with you eight two. Yeah, <laughs> two scores. I can say yeah, it's great. But right now, what I'm feeling is I'm sat in a garden. The sun's beaming down. Beam. Right. I want to drink this beer. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That is good. I, I, I think you're wrong, you know. I don't think I know, that this I, is... To, <laughs> you, everything you've said is a lie. Is a lie. This is not at the Erdinger end of the scale. It's been two years. It's <laughs> this is so far the other end. But it's and not as banana as a, as a wine, Stefano. No, it's very clovey. Yeah. It might not be as banana -y, but it's, it's got that thick, that mm. thickness. Yeah. Two Cs, thickness. Um, but... The Maisels, the wine Stefana. Oh yeah, uh, you know, that, that viscosity. Yeah, it, it, it's that kind of wheat beer. This is not a lager drinker's wheat beer. <laughs> so the one that might occasionally dip their toe and think, oh yeah, I'm gonna have that, I want that. Th <laughs> this is a wheaty wheat beer and it's delicious. Yeah, I've sold, really you, I've, sold you, I've sold you the wrong dream, but are you disappointed? No, <laughs> not at all, no. You, you, might have, you might have given me terrible information but the outcome's been great. The carbonation's perfect, isn't it? Even the bubbles. Um, this is obviously bottled. Tight bubbles, isn't it? Yeah, it's Tight not, bubbles. not um, big. I mean, the burp line's not appeared at all. No. Know where he is. Burp line normally comes he's out he's when you get a beer with the cola bubbles, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's in a cave. Yeah. He's going, you just enjoy that, boys. Sun's yeah. out. Stood on the top of the mountain. <laughs> Looking at where the elephants die. You don't see Lion King. Taste score. Hi. 
It is really high. Uh, it's a, probably a reason why my, why it's my uh, sister's, uh, my brother-in-law imports it to Australia. I was going to say, do they not sell this in Australia then? No. He has to order it and get it delivered to Australia. Shipping costs must be horrendous. He buys a lot. Obviously, he doesn't buy one or two bottles, but yeah. Um, so um, I know he was taking pictures of all the, the beers, <laughs> the German beer selections when he comes to Tesco. He's going to Tesco every day. <laughs> so, uh, right, but the score, uh, it's going to be high, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think nine on the nose for me. Yep. I'm going to go for a nine one. It's, <laughs> it's brilliant. It really is good. Yeah. Um, price, how much was this? £1.85. Holy heck. So it's the same price as your, uh, oh. it's, the same, it's the same price as wine, Stefano. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's a good price, isn't it? That's, a 185, is that? 185, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I, so I, I, I couldn't find it in a bottle shop because I would, you know. It's not too mainstream. It is a mainstream. Shop, it is it? a mainstream. Obviously, it's owned by InBev, so, you know, mm. but um, I'd, I'd pay that all day long. 100%. A thousand percent, I'd buy 10. <laughs> Well, that's it. Well, you think about it, I can get 10 of these for £18.50. <laughs> that's your whole night sorted. It's, and it's a 500 mil. Yeah, yeah. It's um, good beer. Ah, uh, 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 God. Uh, well, I mean, I even taking into account the fact that it's a supermarket, the fact that it's 185 and it's less than £2, I don't know how I can't give that a nine. Yeah, I'm struggling to find a reason why. I can't give a reason. Because it's, you know, there's some can, you know, I mean, even if you buy a 500 mil, Excuse me, there he is, average English ale. He's still talking about £1.50, £1.60. Yeah. And for an extra 35p, and you can get something like that. There's there's some beers that we review where uh, there's one coming up actually, we need to order some beer. And it works out as something like £4 a can, and they're 330 mil cans. Or £3 a can, 330 Yeah, they're, this, they're hot this, heavy though, aren't they? Yeah, this one. 85 for a 500 ml bottle of uh, delicious German Pef. That's a nine. That's a yeah. solid nine. I think we've agreed pretty much yeah, yeah. on everything. Uh, and sessionability, I could have at least six of these. Seven for me. Yeah. That was an easy one, that, wasn't it? <laughs> Seven. I, I mean, I went to um, I went to Munich and unfortunately I never visited the Franzikana. Uh, brew. There were so many, and we were there for limited days, and I, and I, I did, we did see it, but I didn't, unfortunately, didn't go in it, um, and we couldn't get in. Uh, no, they're, well, they're not obviously they're not at the tent. It's space, and it's at the tent. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, if, I could have easily had three and a half steins of those. Oh yeah, easily, easily, yeah. no doubt. Um, and, and on a day like this, if I, if I, if I had gone and got the. Um, it's like they're out to <laughs> people riding motorbikes when we start reviewing beers. But no, you know, if, if I'd gone and got a 24 pack of those, it would, the weather like this, we could have sunk them. Oh yeah, we? 100%. 100%. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to sneeze. I hope you're going to cut this from the video. No, nope, I'm going to make everyone wait. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Um, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, Smash try like, this beer. Hit subscribe. Um, do that. What's the score? Oh god, yeah. There it is. Here's the Oyster score for this beer. Uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Smash like, hit subscribe. Tell a friend. Tell your neighbours. Try this beer. Try this beer. If you're if you're married and you're watching this, call your wife or your husband over and say, "You've got to see this video. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, and just show them." Yeah. Uh, and that's it. But yeah, try this beer. This beer. Um, link in the description below to the scrunchie. See all the other ones that we've done. Yeah. You can hear that beeping. That means that we've got a beer to sparge. Yeah. So we're going to go off and do that. It's been great. Thanks very much for watching. Oysters out. <laughs>